All right, guys, so for today's video here on Ataraxia, we're giving away 50 Ataraxia dollars per usual. Make sure and like the video, comment down below your IGN, and subscribe. Now the first coming gets 15 Ataraxia dollars, guys, so make sure to be notified. We're on the best 926 NXT private server out there. Amazing. Make sure and hop online, guys. If you do join and it asks you if you're new, click yes. Then, of course, player and type and wreck you. You'll get this free tier 70 Ataraxia setup, guys. Make sure and do that. Also, if you donate like $10, I get a dollar back, and that's for every single 10 bucks. Do that, guys. Hope you enjoy this video, and let's go. All right, guys. Well, we've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, Twin Furies, so I figured today we'll actually venture into another God Wars Dungeon 2 boss being Vindicta today. You can actually use Magic or Melee, but I would recommend Melee, I think, for this boss. So we are wearing our Tier 90 Elder Rune. Now, like always, we need to get 40 kills before we can go in, so we'll do that, guys, and then hop into it. Wish me luck today. Last episode, uh, we did get lucky from Twin Furies. So I am happy. Maybe today we can get the same RNG from Vindicta. Now the reason I want to do this boss in particular, I can get the Dragon Rider Lance. That's a crazy freaking weapon to pull. I really want that guy, so that's our goal. And we'll see if we can make it happen. Anyways, we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. But all right guys, while this boss right here is attacking you, the best prayer is melee. See how when you see those, make sure and stand out of that so you don't take a tremendous amount of damage. Once the boss reaches half HP, he will hop onto the dragon. It's definitely all about getting the pathing right. I haven't done God Wars Dungeon Vindicta in a minute, so it's definitely kind of new to me as well. First kill, almost took a fucking inventory. New record, easy peasy. Shit dropped, but I'm happy I got the kill. Right now we're doing a test kill with Soul Split to see if it would work. But I'm not sure it really will. Right now it is, but we'll see before the fight's over. All right, so our uh, second kill coming up, guys. Wish me luck. If I pull that Dragon Rider Lance today, dude, we're so spooned. Come on. Okay, Dragon Bones, so the Dragon Riders. Second kill for the inventory, and we still have food left, so I could probably do three. I'll try. Come on, we're out of food. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Let's go. All right, three and one inventory. That's good. My first few kills were a little difficult. Now I'm just, all right, slapping it out. New record, all that good stuff. Okay, no rare drop. Drop me the Dragon Rider Lance, sir. I know you want to. Unforge. He's going to. He's going to, boys. Don't worry. Final kill for this inventory. And Unforge. Rare drop right now. Oh, no. How about now? Yo, I was right. Let's go. Crest the zeros, boys. I will freaking take it. But it's not the freaking Dragon Rider Lance. I'm pretty sure it's the same rate. That is a very useful drop, though. Once I get a uh, dormant piece, I can add that to it to create a anima piece, which will be even more OP. I'll take the drop, guys. How about a lovely back-to-back? -back? Nope. Final kill for this inventory as well. And, okay. We're actually going to purchase ourselves a spring cleaner, which costs 25 vote points, and that's exactly what I have right now. But yeah, we can, like, freaking do a lot with this. One little upgrade, spring cleaner. You'll see items that we can, like, dismantle and stuff like that, guys. It's really freaking OP. To use it, we can dismantle items, guys. Uh, um, high alk stuff. And it's really a pretty decent thing to have. If you hover, it'll show you what it does, guys. So research mode destroys the dropped item and grants appropriate bonus XP. And this one here in alk mode, it'll alk, it'll alk into like coins. So a good way to get money, but not really XP. Another kill, more junk. That is a new personal best though, by 1.2 seconds. On the very next kill, another new record by like six more seconds. We're so clutch, we're out of food. Oh my God. All right, there we go, holy hell yeah. Now we're over here doing some cooking, guys, or of course, just skilling in general. Trying to level up some different skills, guys. And yeah, here we go. We're getting our first cooking levels up right now. Got to make sure we have our uh, double XP active as well, which we do. And here we go. Yeah, so from legit 17 shrimp, we're up to 43 cooking. All right. Right now we have 1841 total level, guys. The only level ones we have in skills are for farming, construction, and hunter. My least favorite skills. The skills are looking good coming along, and... That's very, very good to see. 50 plus cooking right there. 52. Very, very quick. All right, all right. We're going to complete this inventory of lobster. Then we'll do another skill. Yeah, so we should have like, what, 62 cooking right here? With all of those. Let's go. Now, I do need some of the pouches, which will help out. I don't have any right now. But all right, there's the Chaos Rift. And then we craft the runes. Easy peasy. More XP, guys. 52 rune crafting. We'll do this and I'll be back. We need a lot of magical thread, but once I get these, I can actually create the sealed rune pouches right here. Just like that. 60 rune crafting. And there we go. We got five Vizwax right there. 12 skilling tickets. Not bad at all. Now our skilling contract is to mine 30 of these ore. 
let's do it let's go that contract complete as well more viswax we're gonna get a lot more scaling tickets i'm noticing as the you know the more we're doing the more tickets we're getting more viswax and of course we got a chance at better rewards overall now a divination scaling contract let's go we have to do like 30 glowing wisp harvest them 41 divination right there boys like I said, I do have a lot of this stuff in my bank. Once I get more, we'll create this stuff, guys. I want like sign up port and stuff like that. Gonna be really amazing. Well, let's do it. Yeah, so you can see we got 51 magical logs. There's an extra reward right there, guys. And we are up to 45 divination. With that, we've also now completed 10 skilling contracts. Got 50 extra skilling tickets. That's actually sick. We got an extra 5 mil for being the 90th skilling task to be completed today. We're also basically up to 1900 total level. Not bad. Honestly, hate me if you want, but I am doing a Divine Bird Snare for Hunter. I, I can't be asked to do this skill. It's like the one skill I hate. This and um, farming. I truly freaking hate. So yeah, if I can get these Bird Snares and get 99 that way, I will 100% be doing it just like that. Later on when I get higher um, Hunter level, there is like some stuff I could do, which will uh, involve, you know, a lot higher Hunter level. We'll get to that later. Yo, we're at 60 Hunter. Are you kidding me? Okay, whoever says, like, doing this early level isn't good. We're at 60 Hunter, boys. My first bird snare. Are you kidding? We're almost at 2,000 total level, which is a big accomplishment for this series, boys. But all right, 69 Hunter, two bird snares, easy peasy. All right, guys, we actually have 100 Ataraxia dollars, which is all from you guys. So quick shout out to all the generous viewers and, of course, players that have came for my videos and have of course support this server by maybe donating because like i say every video if you donate ten dollars you get a dollar back throughout this series guys i've been able to obtain a whopping 100 ataraxia dollars so y'all are amazing thank you all so much for supporting this server and of course myself there is a perk system here on ataraxia so with these i'll be able to purchase different perks guys there's combat skilling misc and packages i could literally get all the perks in one for the uh, complete perk package for 450 we're way away from that. But still, guys, this is amazing and honestly just perfect to help out our uh, gameplay. We're going to go ahead and spend 100 uh, Ataraxia dollars. We got a drop catcher right here, which I'm definitely getting. All the drops from monsters are instantly caught to your inventory. Only for 25 bucks. That's actually really good. All right, so first perk has been bought, drop catcher, and it's on, boys. So we'll be able to get all the drops sent instantly to our inventory. So OP. Now, I think I want a prayer betrayal as well. Your prayer points decrease at a 20% lower rate. That's actually really good. So I'll also buy that for $10. We have a shit ton of skilling ones here, but one that really pointed out was the uh, skilling attic. Since we do a lot of skilling contracts, we get plus 10 more XP, 10% more rewards from skilling contracts, and temporary contract modifications last twice as long. Also, it was uh, only $5, so we're definitely getting that. The skilling ones are all about five bucks, so I could get a lot of these active. Persuasion allows you to persuade Slayer Masters to reset Slayer tasks free of charge. Definitely getting that. Grants the permanent effect of VIP tickets, meaning you can uh, choose between two tasks. That one did come at a pricier cost, but we got it active. Solo Adventure nerfs group bosses slightly so that within your private instances, they are soloable. What? There's some really crazy perks right here. Now, I really hope this uh, perk right here works for Gobbler's Dungeon 2 as well. It allows you to enter any Gobbler's ball stream without the kill count. It did cost me $10, but I bought it. Ooh, also overclocked. Your aura's active times are now doubled. Also has recharge time, so that'll be good, especially when I get more auras. So we're going to get that. Pulse Split is 15% more effective for healing. 100% claiming that. Now we have $10 left. And I think we'll go with the Intuitive Invention. 10% chance to save your component's materials when creating things at the invention workbench. Definitely a pretty good one, especially when we're doing invention later on. So there we go. Yep, the KC works for the God Wars dungeon. Two bosses also. That's huge, boys. All right. Honestly, amazing games this episode, and now we have the perks active, which is just going to help out all future episodes just that much more. So shout out to you guys, guys. We have 1,700 treasure under keys, which we'll continue to save. Make sure and hop online, guys. Refer me once you jo join. We are, of course, on Ataraxia, guys, an amazing 926 and XT private saver. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for tuning into the video. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Make sure and refer me once you join once more. And I'll see you all in the next one.